What's up, everyone? Let's talk about QEN. Now, this analysis and this logic more or less applies to uh, all of the empires. And the idea, the longer term view, in my opinion, is that we're currently inside wave number five until this wave number five is a lasting. We're talking about weekly chart here. We can be looking for bullish opportunities. This is the main trend. This is what I would be focusing on if I wanted to go and do conservative trading only. So if this is what you're looking for, please stop this video right now, right here, and don't watch what uh, I have to offer here because it's going to be an aggressive idea. So if this is the fifth leg, that means we can break it down into smaller parts on the lower time frames. This fifth wave is giving us an impulse on the lower time frames, namely daily or the four hour chart, depending on how you would like to analyze it. Splitting this from here on further means that we're somewhere inside the impulsive structure of this cycle. And we came to uh, a place where a pullback is taking place. So we can do that first, second, and then we have third pullbacks, fourth and fifth leg, something like this, right? Now we don't need to exactly pinpoint how exactly these waves are labeled. We just need to get the general idea of what the market is doing. If it fits into the rules, we know the directions. All this complex analysis for some people when it comes to LED waves, uh, the end goal of that is to understand where the price is going, right? We need the direction. Once we have the direction, we can apply any trading method or strategy for the actual entries. Mix that with a bit of levels and you're golden. So if I'm expecting to see a pullback here, uh, I will be looking for another push lower. If I'm looking for another push lower, that's fine, but I need to figure out what kind of structure we're building. Now, usually when it comes to uh, pullbacks and corrections, we can be looking at shrinking, which is um, wedges, triangles, this kind of patterns, right? The boundaries are coming closer to each other. You can be looking at flags, which is kind of a channel, or you can be looking at the horizontal range. Those are pretty much um, consolidation phases. If you understand the LED waves a bit more and you start reading with that, you'll see that we have another type of pullback, which is, um, well, not a consolidation, but a pullback, which means you have some kind of, well, not impulsive move, but move in any direction, right? This is the ABC structure or the complex corrections. So this is more of a trending thing. It moves rather than ranges. In this case, I believe we have first wave in terms of zigzag, and now we're forming something which in my opinion looks like a range. So I do believe that we're going to see something like that. And this is what I'm saying, ranges, uh, sorry, not ranges, pullbacks are usually messy. And that's why if you don't feel an advanced trader here, if you don't feel comfortable doing these trades, please skip them because this is usually when you go and uh, give back the profits. So what's the idea? My idea is to sell the top of this potential range. Of course, we can see that this is the level, right? This entire zone, which is slightly... Um, towards the top, but it's generally the whole range, which doesn't give us much, but it also doesn't hurt us, okay? So if we get this push up, um, I will be looking for the sales, but I what I wanted to, to show you here is the levels, because up until this point, as complex and messy this thing is, it's still somehow logical and it goes straight forward at least in my head the way i see it in my analysis i see it clearly okay but what's interesting and what i don't see that often is the levels now these levels if they hold right here we can expect the push lower that's fine but look what happens 
if we go ahead and break below this range, there is no volume here. We had straight move, no pullbacks, no nothing. So this push lower could be actually bringing the price to approximately this level, which is the 79 zone, say it. So it's like 79, right? And if that's the case, that would make a lot of sense because this is where wave number one ends. So technically speaking, this is totally according to the rules and the analysis we've been doing so far. This level is marked because that was the swing of the previous, the larger structure, All right? So that's why I have it here on the chart. But keep in mind that this is also a possibility. Why I'm uh, talking about these things? Because we can be actually making a lot of money from a pullback here, which doesn't happen that often. But when it happens, this is QEN after all. And on the intraday chart, this kind of push of 150, 170 pips, maybe even 200 plus pips could be interesting for us. I doubt it we're going to get there, but if we do, and uh, your money management allows it, maybe you can keep some small portion down to this level here. So that's pretty much uh, the idea. Of course, the very first targets I will be looking to collect starting from the bottom of the range. This is always my first target. Ranges, I love them because usually if you get the setup right here and your protection is super tiny, then even at the bottom of the range or the top of the range, depending on how you're trading it, you get amazing risk reward ratios. If you get lucky and of course the price moves lower according to your analysis and you don't get kicked out assuming that you still hold some small position here so target one partial close holding small position pullbacks playing and then breakout and continuation then the risk reward ratio becomes absolutely amazing okay and that's just by duplicating the range or by measuring the 100 percent or by using the previous swing high. All of these levels are taking us to approximately this zone. But as I said, there is no volume here. So there is nothing stopping the price from continuing lower. So um, th this is definitely interesting, but it's interesting on the second part of this trade, which is the management, assuming that all this happens the way I see it. All right, so that would be all. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Thank you.